Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be opening some crystals, uh, specifically the Monster and Hunter crystals. We can see from the uh, special tab here that I haven't done any of the Deadly Sin Envy uh, objectives yet, and I've got 99,200 shards. So if I add the other, f what is that, one, two, three, four objectives to that, that's 100,000 shards. Divide that by the legendary crystal soul boost monster and hunter crystal here at 4,000. That'll net me 25 of these Grandmaster monster and hunter, hunter crystals. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, it's time to pop some crystals. We're going to pop some crystals right now. So let's get down to it. I'm going to go ahead and buy the first... Oh, what is it? Eight right now. I'm going to pop them two at a time so that we can get the uh, objectives. Uh, I don't want to over pop and then for whatever reason the the quest objective does not occur. Uh, so I don't even know where to find these. So let's, uh, let's go hunt for them now. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Um... Lots of crystals in here. Bear with me. Bear. There we go. Okay. So the Grandmaster Monster and Hunter Crystals guarantees a three to five star champion. Uh, of all these types, right? You've read it before. With a five percent chance drop rate. I've been watching my alliance pop these throughout the month. Uh, this is like the last day, and I guess technically a half that you can can open these. Um, yeah, so uh, I've seen a lot of people get some really good five stars out of here. So I hope that I can join that club. Uh, here we go. I'm just gonna quick spin and pop these. I didn't even see a five star in there. <clears throat> I really want I, I really want to get some five stars. It looked like there were some people in my alliance that got like five or seven five stars from these, so I'm a little bit jealous. Uh, I would love to get one of the champions I've been looking for. Okay, I did see a five star in here, so that's good. I'm not sure what your thoughts are on probability chances or predetermination of crystals before you even put them on the spinner. There we go. 200 more shards. We'll pop two more. Oh, perfect. Would love that five-star venom. Oh, man. It's been a long month. Not the uh, not the best month in content. I uh, I'm currently trying to wrap up the legendary difficulty side quest. I I just don't have some of the right champions I need, and if I do have them, they're just not ranked up well enough yet. So we're pushing through. Uh, luckily, we got that item use event in progress, so I've been uh, popping some items like boosts. I've had to use a few revives. Uh, I think the rewards are worth it, right? Those tier 2 alphas, 6 star shards, whatnot. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, so nothing special yet. We'll claim our second grouping of the monster and hunter shards. Okay. Do two more. I think I'm tapping them too early. Hmm. I don't know, man. As, which each, each crystal I pop... I don't know what's going on here. Okay, there we go. Uh, with each crystal I pop, I'm noticing that uh, just a bunch of three stars, which is ideally what I expected, but, you know, seeing that other people in my alliance and out in the community are getting, like, some really good champions out of here, five stars, right? Uh, 
got a little bit of envy, a little bit of jealousy, right? Um, so that's just where I'm at on it. Okay, apparently I missed the pop-up. There we go. There we go, got that. And then this last one. Gotta pop the last two. We may be popping more crystals in this video. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But right now, I figured 25 crystals, potential 5-star chances. We can probably just uh, open both of these like this. And it's two things. <laughs> wow. The randomness. Okay. All right, so now we actually have collected 100,000 shards, which let me purchase the remainder of the 25 monster and hunter crystals. So we got to go back to the store now. We're going to buy those up. Oh, man. So, so the question is, at what point are you happy with these crystal openings, right? Is it when you get one five-star? Is it when you get... Out of 25, is it uh, a 5% chance? So, uh, I don't know. When you get five of them, it's four. Hard to say. All right, so there we've popped the rest of them. Whew. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Pop 10. One new champion. Let's see what we got. Okay, so four star King Groot. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Oh my goodness, I've got the guillotine 2099, and now I've got a 5-star Warlock, which is something I've been on the hunt for. Uh, not my top pick, I've been looking for the Ghost mostly, but uh, wow, okay, so, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm happy, but uh, we only have 7 crystals left, guys, and uh, I'm nowhere near to the 5 or 7 5-stars that other people have been getting. But uh, I am not displeased with that right there. Holy moly. Whew. Wow, that feels good. I've, uh, I've heard a lot about him. I know he's triple immunity. He's robot. Uh, reverse healing. I think Degen is in his toolkit too. Could be mistaken. I'll find out soon because this champion is going to be going up real quick. Uh, I've been wondering what my next tech 5 star is going to be. Uh, I think I've been trying to decide between Iron Man Infinity War and Dr. Octopus, but uh, I think it's going to be Warlock, guys. I think it's going to be Warlock. All right. We've got seven more here. Hmm. All right, so the pop method worked, right? Maybe we'll back out, reset, pep method, uh, and we'll do the pop for the next seven. Okay. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Alright, no new champions. Oh man, a bunch of three stars, man. Are you kidding me? Oh man. Oh, so the question is, is is it a good opening? Oh man, all that work. All those resources. All that time saving up for the whole month to get 25 of these crystals to get a, a large handful of three stars, two or three four stars. But we got the one five star, right? Just one five star. Oh man, I don't know if it's wise to keep opening crystals here, guys. It's just not a good moment. But we did get a five star warlock, right? And there's a lot of people out there that want that warlock. Um, do I... Let's just browse the inventory really, really quick here. Oh, man. 
do I have an awakening gem? That's what I'm looking at. I do have a five star tech awakening gem. So the question is, use the five star tech awakening gem. Save it for ghost, use it on warlock, use it on guillotine 2099, or out of these champions here, would you save it for ghost like I've been saving, or would you use it on one of these eight champions? Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not. Uh, ring the notification bell. Leave me a comment below <laughs> in this video. Tell me what you think. Um, and where would you spend that five-star tech awakening gem? Oh, man. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm glad I got a five-star, but it's a little disappointing that I only got the one. With a 5% chance, right, I feel like I should have gotten at least, at least two. Uh, so, I'm going to... I'm going to mark disappointed with a star. Caveat, I did get Warlock, right? So is that worth like three, four, or five star champions? I don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Tell me how upset you are that I got Warlock. Or just, you know, give me a thumbs up and say congrats. But uh, I don't think I have this guy above a three star variety. So I have not used him very much. Um, let's see, let's see. Ooh. So I am noticing here, passive while the buff is active. Uh, opponent's special attacks cannot be critical. That's always a plus, right? Don't be taking uh, special damage, though. Uh, the triple immunity, bleed, or sorry, yeah, triple bleed, poison, and cold. Oh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, power draining. I, I remember the first time I saw that, I thought it was weird. Oh, let's see. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, I am probably going to be putting some ISO into him very quickly and ticking him up at a minimum to rank four. Uh, you're going to see him in my gameplay coming up in the near future very quickly. Uh, so, yeah, uh, final analysis. I think I'm disappointed with this crystal opening. I did just pop. 25 crystals each with a 5% chance at a 5 star and I only got one uh, can't do the odds in my head but it seems low I would have expected at least two if I'd gotten two 5 stars I probably would have been happy but I am disappointed with caveat star now I have warlock uh, so that's it for the video today guys thank you for clicking on another one of my videos look forward to seeing you in a future live stream and take care everyone have a happy Tuesday.